people assume that there's somebody in the government protecting their water supply, and that's often not the case. One of the most extraordinary examples of that is the most common pesticide sprayed in the United States, atrazine. Atrazine itself is an herbicide or a weed killer, and it's used on, on products such as corn. It is the number one contaminant found in drinking water and groundwater and surface water. Initially, we were contracted by Syngenta, the makers of atrazine, and their interest was in trying to understand whether or not, so they said, whether or not atrazine could function as an endocrine disruptor, meaning could it interfere with hormones such as thyroid hormone, testosterone, estrogen. We found that atrazine had a number of effects, but most significantly, atrazine demasculinized the exposed male frogs. I would even say chemically castrated. We went on to show that in addition to being demasculinized, they were also feminized. So in other words, male amphibians would grow ovaries and, and even produce eggs. Fish show similar effects. Their sperm counts drop and they start to make egg yolk protein. Does that mean that atrazine is causing a global decline in sperm counts in men? Again, the experimental and the epidemiological data suggest that atrazine may play a very significant role. It's also associated with prostate cancer and some of the factories that produce atrazine, as well as with breast cancer and some studies that look at women whose water is contaminated with atrazine. One big concern might be fetuses that, in effect, are living in water. So if that fetus gets exposed to a chemical, it's constantly drinking its amniotic fluid. In the entire European Union, atrazine has been banned. And in effect, that is the only way you can limit atrazine levels because it can travel up to 600 miles, 1,000 kilometers in the rainwater. In fact, of the 80 million pounds of atrazine we use in the United States, about a half million pounds of that atrazine comes back in the rainwater. And the irony is, I guess, that you know, here's a European company selling 80 million pounds of a product in the United States where it's not even legal in the home country. When the Environmental Protection Agency under the Bush administration decided that it needed to at least appear to do something about the problem after we sued them, um, they ended up sitting down with the people that made atrazine in private negotiations. They met over 50 times privately with the company, and they cut a deal. No crackdown, no enforcement action, no banning of the pesticide. Thank you.